Baby. 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 <laughs> hey, baby. I'm home. Mm. Look what I brought you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A whole box of donuts, all the sprinkle ones. Every flavor you love. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, mi amor, don't look at me like that. Yeah, I had another fight tonight. Oh, come on, baby. I don't look that bad. You should see the other guy. Actually, no. You shouldn't see the other guy. That's a graphic scene that I don't want you looking at. Oh, come on, baby. It's, it's one fight a week. It's not the worst. I used to have tighter schedules. It used to be one fight a day. Do you have a hair tie? I kind of misplaced mine. Yeah, well, my hair is getting everywhere, and I'd like to make sure it doesn't get all over your donuts. No, oh, come on, baby. <sighs> baby, I know you worry. I know, I know. Baby. My dad was a fighter. My dad's dad was a fighter. It's in my blood. It's who I am. Do you think I, I'd be okay sitting behind a desk job for six hours a day? Eight hours a day? Now, come on, babe. You know me better than that. I need to keep on my feet. I need to keep working. I need to keep fighting. This is how my dad raised my family. And so I'm going to raise my family. I get it. You worry about me, mi amor. I don't want you to worry. Not once have I ever, have I ever came home more hurt than the other guy. Yes, I 100% knew you were going to worry, so I bought the donuts to bribe you. I was hoping they were enough to distract you from the bandages over my eye, but apparently not. <laughs> ay, 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 princess, what am I going to do without you? Come here, Ben. Ben, chica, Ben. Ben, 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 Ben. No, no, no. Silencio. Por favor. Gracias, mi amor. Un beso. Bebe, un beso. Kiss me, my love. Now. you too okay my trainer down at the gym said I'm gonna make a fortune off of this fight I won on odds where everybody thought I'd lost he says on average I'll take home about three to four K he's just running the numbers with the bookie and just making sure everything is clean and over the table I'll get my payout. We can be set for the month. Or I can run one more fight two weeks from now. It's more than enough time to give myself time to train. My body will get time to heal and relax. And you'd have two weeks of not worrying about me fighting at night, okay? Look, I get it. You're worried. Just a couple more scrappy fights like this. I have enough wins under my belt 
to go professional. I'll clean up, I'll get a better gym. I just want to make sure that the foundation for our future is here, you know? I want to make sure that anytime you need anything, we got that security, we got that money to hold us down. When we first met, I promised you I'd buy you a diamond ring before our first five years together. Don't think I forgot. I've had that in my heart every single day since then. I will make our dreams come true, Mimor. I promise. Just give me a little more time, okay? When all's said and done, maybe I can shift over from being a boxer and I can start training kids. Get a job right from the same gym. I can become a trainer, start putting out work out there. You know? A less dangerous job. Huh. Exactly, that's my girl. Oh, you want me to teach you how to fight? <laughs> Baby, you say that every single time. And the second I take you down to the training ring, you get distracted by something and I lose you. Oh, not this time. Okay. Come on, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand with me. Stand with me. Come, 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 come. Show me your stance. Hey, if you want to become a fighter, you got to learn your stance. No, I'm not just teasing you, love. You do got to learn your stance. Come on. All right, all right. Not that bad. Hey, balance on both feet. Not on one. Not the front, not the back. Both of them. Good. Shift your weight. Perfect. You want to be? Exactly. On the ball of your feet. There you go. Nope, nope, nope. Keep your head up. Mm -hmm. Now you got to decide. Are you defensive or offensive? If you're defensive, turtle in your arms. There you go. You're protecting your face and your chest. Perfect. Ay, ay, ay. Balance on the balls of your feet, love. That's my girl. Now, when you're swinging a punch, you're swinging a punch with your hip, your shoulder, and your arm. You're not just shoving your arm forward. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. A little warning there, missy. You almost took off my head. <laughs> right. When you're punching... You're shifting with your back foot. You're shifting with your back and shoulder muscle. And you're pushing forward. Yeah? So it's like you're swinging your body out. There you go. And in that one motion, you're swinging it backwards and setting yourself back on your center position. There you go. Start it slow and easy. When you're swinging with your off hand, Exactly, you switch with your hip, you push forward, you swing with your shoulder and your back muscle. That a girl. There you go. You're getting it. Uh, look at you. You're a natural. Oh. <laughs> oh, you think you can take me? Oh, okay. Come on. Come on, little Come on. Let me show you. Show, show me what you got. Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Come on. No. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. You know that? No, oh, please. You know what? You're right. You're right. You would 100% beat me in a fight. Yeah. No, no, no. You're just built different, babe. Trust me. Uh huh. Yeah, you're, you're the... You're what fighters dream to be, you know? My father used to always say... A fighter isn't born, he's made. You know? <sighs> Sorry, yeah. I brought up my old man, I started missing him. <laughs> Do you know, he used to take me down to the, to the boxing ring when I was just six. 
<laughs> and repeat those words to me almost every day. Son, listen to me. Ben, come here. Sit on your puppy's lap. Listen to me, okay? <laughs> A fighter is not born. He is made, okay? Look around you, my son. <laughs> I can't do his voice. <laughs> but he had this really heavy Spanish accent. Every man in this room comes here and they work day in and day out. They sink hours to perfect their boxing style. None of these men here were born perfect. None of them were born with the skills and the abilities that they have now. They learnt it and they polish it. So listen to me, okay? No matter what you're going through, no matter how many struggles, how much you have to climb uphill, no one is born with the ability to just do everything. You have to fight and work hard for it. Remember that. And that stayed with me. And I want to make sure that, however long in the future, when my kid looks at me, they can look at someone that they can feel proud of. And I can look at them and say, A fighter is not born, but is made. You know, whatever you choose to go after, whatever dream you want to accomplish, you weren't simply born with all of the skills to do so, but it's throughout all of your hard work. People say talent. Talent is one thing. But if you don't sit down and polish that talent, if you don't sit down and put in the work to make that talent something important, then it's nothing, you know? You can't discredit all of the hard work people put out just because you say, well, you're talented, you're born to do that. No. People work hard for the things that they love. So I want to make sure that my kid feels loved no matter what they work hard towards. Fighting is my fight. And whatever they choose, that's their fight. <sighs> oh, I'm sore. You wanna come take a shower with me, love? <laughs> yeah? Alright. You get your cute little butt in there. I'm gonna put these dirty clothes in the washer and I'll come join you, okay? Alright. I love you. Well, I love you more. I love you most. Y we love each other. Forever always. Why... Hello there, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Hey there, baby booze. Um, I'm not going to dwell on this for too long, but it has been a rough last week, maybe two weeks. Um, I've been trying to keep you guys up to date with it. It's been a while since I've had such a rough mental time, but... I am doing my best to overcome and I am doing my best to pick myself up and today's audio getting back on track with a more lighthearted, more silly kind of audio. Just something a bit different, something a bit unique, something that I wanted to work on. And just to fully shout out to the world that I am back. I am working and I am doing my best. So, yeah, I'm back. Um, I will continue to do the one re-upload every week, say on a Sunday, 
So for this week, there won't be a re-upload on Sunday, but for next week, there will be one. Um, that's just to give me one entire day of not having to worry about anything and just take that time to say, take care of my mental health or go take care of my mom or something like that. Or just one day of just nothing, I guess, you know? Um, sometimes I get so caught up on the fact that I'm working from home. I tend to forget the fact that I am working. So even yes, I am working at home and I go from my bed to my computer like less than a foot away. I am still working and I am putting in hours a day at what I do. So I do have to remember that, hey. It's okay to take a rest. It's okay to take some time. And I wanted to send a really specific message in this audio. There, mm, on stream, we were docking over Haikyuu. And Haikyuu has this internal battle of People who are born talented versus people who work hard. And the first couple of seasons of Haikyuu only scratch the surface of that topic. Because we wanted to portray Kageyama and Hinata as people who work so hard that they found this talent and they polished it. But it always felt as if they were born to do such a thing, right? Hinata was born short, so he was born with a natural ability to jump high. They didn't really portray the aspect of, well, he had to work hard and tirelessly to get to that point. It's only in the ending, like the last season, when they actually started to hammer it home. Yes... He was born short. Yes, he had this gift of being able to jump high. But if he wanted to stand on that court, he needed to work hard to get good at passing, to get good at receiving, to get good at serving, to get good at the one thing that only he had, which was the super fast spike. And then they introduced the the Maya twins. The Maya twins? The Maya twins. Where... They showed you that they were in love with the sport, but they were not in love with the sport because they were gifted. They were in love because they enjoyed it. And because they enjoyed it, they worked harder than everybody else to get as good as they were. Then it has literally my favorite moment of the anime, where is Suki, when he stopped the spike, where his entire arc from season 1 to season 3 was about, I don't need to push myself. I don't need to try hard. I was gifted with height. It doesn't matter. Then he spent the entirety of those three seasons struggling with the factor. It's just one game. It's just one point. It's just a club. Why should I put all of myself into it? Until he did. Until he did put himself. Until he did start to want to be better. Until he started to actually put effort in. And then we had the release of that emotion. The moment of all his hard work coming together. And him stopping that spike when his team needed him the most. Going over that stuck with me since my stream. And I just wanted to... To address it here with you guys. It's okay if you have a dream. It's okay if you spend hours. Grinding. To make that dream come true. Sure there might be somebody out there that's better. But they might be better because they've been working. A lot longer. Just because they're better does not. Discredit all you doing. Or all that you will do. You are amazing. And you will be amazing. 
And as long as you have that dream, as long as you have that drive, as long as you have that want, you will continue to be amazing. Sorry if I rambled a bit too long. I actually wanted to try to keep this under five minutes. I kind of kind of almost made it to seven minutes. So I'll end it off here with, uh, did you know that 68% of the people listening to this right now are not subscribed to me? If you've made it this far and you like the content, please leave a like and a comment down below. As for your subscription, I'll be playing you in a friendly game of rock, paper, scissors. The rules are simple. I'll go rock, paper, scissors, and then shoot up on shoot. I'll announce what I went, and if I've won, you're not obligated to subscribe. If I've lost, not obligated to have done in the, in the comment section and let me know. If I've been you two times in a row, you're not obligated to put on the notification button. If I've been you three times in a row, you now belong to me, mind, body, and soul. Why? Because we are a pair of gloves. I'm okay when it's just me alone, but together we're a perfect pair. <laughs> anyway, um, let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Today I went scissors. That means if you went paper, you just lost. But if you went rock, you just won. All right, guys. Remember to take care of yourselves. Remember to keep healthy. Eating is important two to three times a day in healthy amounts. But if you need to eat more than six times a day in smaller, healthier amounts, a perfectly fine too remember keep hydrated water is great but if you're like me and tap water tastes like death get some bottled water they're usually cheap and having them around gives you like a, a goal that you can go at. like ah well today i'm gonna drink six bottles of water and that way it never feels like it's too much sometimes it almost feels like it's not enough because you drink one bottle of water so quickly and then by the time you notice you've drunk three and then you're like huh i have nine hours to go for the rest of the day and i already only have three more bottles so it kind of helps you get more water into your system um remember if you don't want to drink water juice is good as long as you have some ice soda is fine i'm not going to tell you stop drinking all soda i'm not going to be that person but water it down if you can or put lots of ice that helps a lot and remember each and every one of you are amazing and special in your own unique ways and i love all of you so please do take care of yourselves Thank you for being here, and I'll see you guys in the next audio. You're beautiful, but you're most gorgeous when you smile. So never stop smiling. I love you guys. Bye-bye.